Well, how about this? Hundreds of teens drinking, drunk, passed out at a Florida mansion. We're talking about high school kids, a lot of them, about 500. And the parents admit they were upstairs while this was going on. Now they've been arrested for their son's um, open house party. That's what it's being called. So joining me now from Miami to talk about this is the attorney for the parents, Adam Harmelin. Adam, thank you for joining me. Um, first question, what were the ground rules for this party? Well, the ground rules were that uh, this was a uh, homecoming party, an after-homecoming party for the Rasabi's uh, teenage sons. And the ground rules were that uh, there was no alcohol to be consumed at the party or possessed by the minors. And uh, that basically it was just a, a party to have for the children so that they weren't out and about, um, you know, not under the supervision of uh, the, uh, the parents. How many, how many children? Well, to be clear, there were 150 that were invited guests. Okay. Uh, those invited guests were given wristbands uh, to indicate that they were invited guests. But unfortunately, at the start of the party, several buses showed up and limousines that came from homecoming and unloaded about uh, 500 all at the same time. Okay, so you're, you're saying that your clients um, did not want alcohol there and that the drunk children, you're saying, were not children that were invited. And I want people to understand exactly how drunk some of these children were. There were teenagers passed out, throwing up in the front yard, and you're saying that your clients did not have that intention and, and didn't invite those children? They absolutely did not have the intention that any uh, teenagers would consume alcohol. To say that some of the invited guests did not consume alcohol, I cannot speak to that. But it was not their intention that there was to be alcohol at this party. They did not provide alcohol, and they were not charged with providing alcohol. They're charged with essentially having a social gathering at their house uh, where minors were consuming alcohol. Okay, so how, how do they plan to monitor this to make sure that when you have 150 kids, something doesn't go wrong? Well, a couple of ways. Number one is this is a gated community. Uh, at the guard gate, the guard had a list of invited guests. He was told that they would be coming on buses and the children or teenagers would be wearing wristbands. If I can just cut you off, I'm talking about sure. in their home. What, well, what was their plan to monitor what happened in their home and in their front yard? I'm not talking about the gate. The Rasabis hired three chaperones and security guards to monitor the party, uh, as well as Mr. and Mrs. Rasabi were present uh, downstairs, not upstairs, as the police report indicates. Okay, so that, that, that bit of information that's been out there, that's not accurate. So they were downstairs. That, that is absolutely correct. They were downstairs during the party. Now, you have to understand, this party only lasted about 14 to 20 minutes total time. Okay. The, home, the homecoming party started or ended at 11 to 11.30 p.m. The buses began to arrive between 12 and 12.15, unloading a, a lot of children at one time coming into this house. The police arrived on scene, and you can check the police report, at 12.29 a.m., Okay. And that's when Ms. Rasabi, just before that, got the phone call from Boca Raton Police Department telling her that there, were, there was a teenager outside that was sick on the lawn. Okay. She came outside, and that's where she made contact we're with the We're about out of time, but let me ask you this before I let you go. If, if your clients could do something differently, is there something that they would have done differently looking back on this? Because I would imagine there's got to be some parents that are a little upset. Well, I think what you have to look at is that these two parents are responsible parents that were vigilant in doing what they should have done. And, and anyone throwing a party, they went above and beyond, really. I mean, they hired security guards, they got wristbands, uh, and it was just unfortunate that there were a, a hundreds of party crashers that came and basically caused this, this scene where the, the minors consumed this alcohol before they arrived at this party. 150 kids, though. That, that might require... More than three or four chaperones. Uh, I don't know. Adam? You had, you had five. Oh. But, okay, Adam, okay. Adam Harmon, thank you for answering the questions. We appreciate it very much. Thank you for having me, Rochelle. Absolutely.